Definitely on Spin the Black, come up here and chop it up with you. Bro. Yeah, let's get it. Yeah, and when did your album come out? It was like a couple months, three, Man, four months? What I, you I, looking I, at? I, I, was, I wanted to drop in November, but Christmas, I, I huh? really, I kind of I kind of want to wait until the first quarter next month. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So you go from January, February? Yeah, it just makes more sense, I think, going to Oh, for sure, for sure. Still got a little life in my last project, but so we'll be right. I got, yep, I got a bunch of shows coming up in October, so. Yeah. Anyone you want to mention? Yeah, I got uh, the Bluebird on October 2nd. Rue booking for that. Shout out, Rue. Dope. Uh, it's going to be popping, so definitely pull up on that. And then, what do we got after that? I got a show with Conway in San Antonio on um, October 8th. It's like a boxing match with Big Arena. Damn. That's, that's right, about my birthday. I got a bunch of homies in San Antonio, bro. Yeah, and then I got Young Dro, That'll be the show, one. Young Dro and Waco on the 17th. And then I got Cancun, Mexico. Shit. Oh, shit. Uh, Cancun. Yeah, on Halloween. Halloween in Cancun. So that's going to be crazy. That's real dope. And then I think I got Twister and Waco again on November 5th. And then I'm chilling. Hell yeah. Oh, I might do another uh, Conway in Orlando and Conway in Dallas. That'd be nice. That sounds fun. Yeah. I'll make that. Yeah, do that, do that shit. <laughs> Moving and shaking. Yeah, nah, for sure. You it's, know what I mean? That's good, good cities. Time. That's big bro, so he you know, that's dope. That's dope. Hey, back to you, Kent. Like, after Fresh Bread, then you start fucking with the Black Hearts, right? Foe, yeah. Karma, and Jonas. Yeah, Jonas. AKA Abraham. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's dope. He's so far. Yeah. He, uh, he inspired me a lot back in the days. I remember the Pirate Signal were the first group to have the cover of the Westward. There was a rap group. And you know, that was the boys, and uh, it inspired me a lot. I was just like, this is cool. Like, you know, I know he's doing his thing. I want to be a part of what he's doing. And, and I just fuck with them so hard that I think it just naturally happened. I just love going to hip-hop shows and right. being there and, like, experiencing it. I would just go to everybody's show. I pretty, I remember just going, like, literally every show. And just, I was just so in love with, with hip-hop at that time in my life when I was, like, 18, 19, that I just loved everything that I was seeing. And I just made friends with everybody. Right. And everybody was like, yeah, like... You're, you're kind of dope too. I think I was rapping good too, you know, but that was just because I was purely loving every moment, like, and love rap. So I grew up and just like love it so much. But that allowed me to evolve, meet Jonas. Jonas was fucking with me. I would go to different shows with him. I remember we went to Aspen one time and did a public enemy show. And Chuck D's brother told me he was dope. Like, I, I had just one part where I spit like an acapella, honestly. I was like, just let me spit an acapella. Let me go with you. And I spit an acapella and, uh, yeah, Chuck D's bro came up to me. He was like, that was nice, bro. And I was like, what? I, I remember yeah, yeah. that moment. I was like, yeah, this is fire. This is the cool, cool shit ever happened. I want to even right. say, like, we had a couple sessions at the crib with me, you, and Jonas recording some music, right? That's probably. what we're talking about, the music that never came out. Yeah. We, had, like, we think, didn't have many, but we had, like, probably, like, three or four. Yeah, I think you put me on some joints, too, with, like, some other people as well. Exactly. Yeah, I think there was a few tracks that I was on that went that came out, like, that you and I did, right? Like, like uh, tracks with a bunch of people from the city on them yeah, and shit you had like that. Some, didn't, you had some shit. I think there is bro because i think you released like a gang of people you would do mixtapes with like gangs yeah. of different people on different songs right and shit like i don't that. think you're on any of them bro for real dude i think i, I am bro. i think i either think like bro i think mean, so mean because him, me and him only did like maybe two or three tracks bro we didn't do very much at all and every, you know what i mean and it was just like i want to say like my computer crashed my g9 or whatever and i lost that shit even the homie that's going to be here on yeah, even the homie that's going to be here on Monday, Jay Money, I call him one of the best freestylers I've ever met. Yeah, you take his lead. And we, we would just go put a beat on, and he, we'd run like a hundred takes, bro. And just everyone would be doper than the next one. And I lost like a bunch of his shit too. But we we didn't do that many tracks together, bro. And I know I know you're not on the song with everyone, for real. Because I'll tell a little story. Like I'll tell you a little story about that. When people get mad. They get mad. There ain't no cap. <laughs> there ain't none. But I did a song with like twenty plus people. Yeah. And the cat that made the beat, he made a fire ass beat. Yeah. PJ. Oh, shout out PJ. Shout out PJ. He made a fire ass beat. So, of course, I'm going to invite him. You know, whoever on the fresh breath wants to be on the track can be on the track. Yeah. Him and Fochi send boots back, or verses back. Yeah. yeah. And his verse, I mean, both the verses. Actually, you know what's crazy? So we used to kind of like bully flawless because he, the way he spit, kind of. Mm -hmm. But he was like, a, he was like one of my best friends. And uh, but looking back, he spits so fire, bro. Like I feel like PJ really spits fire. Like 
He does. He can like, he like I, looking I, back though, because I, I, I have him on like, a ton of shit. Looking back, it's like he's was pretty dope actually. Like he has some he, the way he raps is like mm-hmm. he really pronounces his words, and it's just kind of different. I yeah, feel he like can it's sing like, really well. Yeah, too. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. But you sit him and folks he sent me back. I just really wasn't feeling, and I just asked him to do it over, and they kind of refused. So what? I was like. Yeah, he's like, you know, PJ is cool and PJ, he's talented, but PJ's also have has an ego like the rest of us. And maybe me telling him like I didn't like it, like, and I want him to do it again, you know. And then Fo Chief, no, no cap, is doing the lyrical miracle miracle. It's like, come on, bro, like, you know, we got the best on the city, like, homies, and you need to kill that shit. And I asked them if they want to redo it, and they kind of refused. So like. I don't want to say I just took the beat and fucking put twenty motherfuckers on it, bro. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I gave him. Hey, before I put it out, so I gave, I'm not on that one anymore. Anyway. No, I, no, I, I thought, no, I, thought uh, I was on that bitch. Like I swear, I don't know why. Well, no, I mean, I, I gave him a swear, chance. Bro. I told him, oh, and, right and even you. and even before, like I put the song out, like really one more week, I was like, bro, you know, I'm gonna put this shit out. It's your beat. It's tight. Whatever. If you guys want to redo a verse, I got a spot for y'all on the song. Just redo the verse, and they refused. So it was like, yeah. so there's plenty of other people in there. Yeah, I mean, I was doing a posse cut. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, he did the beat, and he got credit for the beat and everything. I mean, it's just like, <coughs> you know what I mean? I, I just, you know, know, there's a couple people, and now that I listen to it, there's probably a couple people I should have took off so as well. So I wasn't Catch on there? I just don't know. Yeah, for catch real. Was he was doing something. Honestly, I don't know. I, I could have sworn he was. I feel like somebody was even like, oh, that's Catch. You're thinking 6 o'clock. He, he, I mean, he don't look like you, but he's a white boy, and if he has a beanie on, he looks like you. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I mean, but you no, know, he's not on it. No. Like I said, I only did like a couple tracks with him, and like they got lost on that computer. I didn't do many with you, like you. Yeah, there's a couple people, and even like Jonas, I did way more with Jonas than than I with you, because he would live in that far away. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's but we did a couple of tracks. Like, I might even say one day. You know what I mean? Came up or did a couple tracks, but it just never. Because I want to say it was a track with you, YG, and I want to even say some way somehow yeah. I got spoken on that shit, which I've never done any fucking music with either. You know you what I mean? Remember putting me like me and Haven on track, or you remember Haven? Yeah, I remember Haven. Yeah, I feel like maybe I feel like Haven and I did a joint feat, or maybe we just did a feature. But I feel like Haven and I did a maybe joint on his mixtape. Maybe Chris. Nah, cat from Jewel Tyler. Yeah. Which was popping there? Shout out to Jewel Time, yeah. bro. Oh, we had a good team, bro. <laughs> King Fo, right? Yeah, Fo. We had A Hunter, bro. We had Karma. We had J Money. We had SO. Yeah, yeah SO is fire, bro. I'm missing a bunch of fools, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. a bunch of fools. You know oh, they're crazy. Too. They're all fire. Haven, you know yeah. what I mean? He was a big part of that. Karma. I already said Karma, but. Uh, they had um I saw Flo perform first time I saw him perform was at Cervantes, bro. I remember him doing put your box up. Right. Put your box up. You remember that? I do. I Dude, wish I, that I song was like on the first time I saw him perform was at Cervantes and I was like, this 